RimWorld. Today we will try to survive the harsh and brutal storytelling of Randy Random on 500% difficulty with one person on naked brutality. So, without wasting any time, we've quickly set up some new growing zones on top of some fertile soil and quickly planted rice, cotton, and heel root because these plants are essential when starting a new run. After that, I've designated a 7x11 area so that uh, it outlines our um, base. I've quickly also placed a bed and a bedside table because uh, this will give uh, Nook for here some comfortable while sleeping and uh, that will increase his, his overall mood. I've also quickly placed a crafting um, area here just so that we can make a hatchet. And Nook for here spent the rest of the day just planting rice and cotton. On day 2, early in the morning, I saw Nook for here was washing his hands on some nearby water and uh, I got quickly reminded that we have to build a uh, simple toilet and a simple well to wash, to wash his hands. I also um, deconstructed some steel structures here so that we can get our hands on some simple steel without mining and being vigilant I reinstalled this steel table table back at our base and placed a dining chair so that we don't have to bother building really uh, and we quickly installed a simple shelf for storage and so that it looks neater in here and cruising our way on day 3, there was a group of hunting party. First, I disregarded this thinking it was nothing, but then there was a muffalo revenge and I had to take a look on how they are doing. And turns out, there's an all-out warfare here, bro. <laughs> and uh, yeah, look at my reaction on this. Damn, how can he move a fucking big-ass creature? What the f- Ah, uh, damn. And after that lively event, we've quickly built ourselves a stone cutter's table so that we can build granite walls and protect ourselves from the dangers. Sad to say, we are running low on food and we have to kill this poor little innocent tortoise over here because uh, the rice hasn't been grown yet. And uh, yeah, we just need some food and we build a campfire right here and create a butchering spot and uh yeah made him dinner so day four to day five we were just big chilling the hunting party yesterday you know left some injured muffalo and the muffalo here just died because of blood loss and we chopped him up and uh cooked him up you know just to get ourselves some simple meals because we are struggling and nook for here just keep on chopping it up you know, making us some stone blocks, building us a safer base, you know, safer environment for him to keep away the raiders from killing us and ending the, the fucking run there. And there you go, he just keep on chopping it up, he was feeling industrious and shit, and uh, yeah, I keep on like, yo, build this shit quickly before the raiders come in. And then, uh, you know, he complained like, man, this shit ugly as hell. How am I supposed to keep the ladies in here, bro, if the flooring isn't out of marble flooring? And then I said, say less, bitch. I'm going to give you some marble flooring just to keep you happy and the ladies happy. Day 6 to day 10, we're just doing some general work stuff, stuff like that. And, uh, you know, we build the flooring of the base because uh, it's the only thing that we can really do. And uh, on day 7, there was a transport pod crash. This dude just landed, got dog shit stats, and uh, you know, I just stole his clothes. And look for here, said his thank yous, and like, you know, I said, you're welcome, bitch. And then, harvesting time, we got rice now, motherfucker. Day 8, we just expanded the base. We mined this side of the mountain right here, build the walls. It's an 11 by 11 type of room you know it's uh the biggest i think or the best type of room and uh yeah we quick uh, we quickly build a uh trap hallway 
where we set up spike traps right here out of wood because uh, they are easy to build and easy to deconstruct day 9 we continued building the trap hallway I don't want to build it out of granite because um, we go we're gonna deconstruct deconstruct this anyway so the wood is the best type of material to build for now and uh, we got a um, trader coming to our uh, base you know we checked what they're selling and uh, you know it's dog shit so we left it right there <laughs> on day 10 again boring stuff you know just did some base upgrades and there was a dry thunderstorm which you know thankfully it didn't land near us so you know the base won't burn down and stuff like that and uh, funny thing is I caught these fucking traders fucking stealing from me bro oh if I only had some guns bro I would have stomped their asses look at my reaction right here bro what the f did they just what the did they just steal my shit, bro? What the? F oh my! They, they do. What? Okay, day eleven, big day. Cause this day, we're making a room for Nufer here, where we build a uh, marble walls, and yeah, try to create a beautiful room for him, and uh. Yeah, luckily there's a slaver that actually came into our uh, settlement that is trading for uh, Nugfur's mother. Can we even tame this guy? Just so that we, we can uh, at least trade him these slavers. I don't know. Let's see if they accept rice. <laughs> No, they don't. Fuck. The lassos. Fuck, man. The lassos. 7.45. I'm not even sure if we can... Uh... Damn it. In day 12, I was scrolling around when I found these insects. And uh, yeah, I quickly plug up every possible uh, opening in the cave. And... Um, yeah, what happens next is that we got ourselves a meteor shower. What the fuck? What the fuck? A meteorite shower? Ooh, silver ore. Nice. <laughs> Brody died, man. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn. Day 13 to 14, we just harvested some rice, some crops, you know, maintained our like wood stock, material stock, stuff like that. Yeah, just boring general stuff. But I did build him a fuel stove because he was getting food poison left and right. And the early f day 15, we mined some compacted iron. And towards the end of day 15, we did get a peculiar quest named Benny the Tired. It's a quest where an, a refugee named Benny will join us for a couple of days, you know, try and help us while he tries and, you know, get back up from his, his feet, basically. And, uh, of course, we accepted it because uh, we do need the added help that this quest uh, provides. Towards day 16, a heat wave for pay pops up. I was initially hesitant because heat, heat waves are a killer and I'm not, I'm not sure if we were ready for that yet. Uh, if you can see there, I've also built a hand tailoring bench so that we can build our own or craft our own clothes. And our colonist or refugee here downed himself because he got food poisoning so we took care of that really quickly. And of course, in day 17, there were there was a quest for um, betrayal, but of course, we denied it. What the fuck, betrayal? Ooh, void side C room. Uh, fuck you. Hell no. Ain't gonna do that shit, bro. Fuck out of here. And then towards the end of day 17. 
we obviously accepted it for the honor because I'll explain. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. Um, I don't know why do we need a void side serum. I don't know, man. But I do want to be. I don't want. I do want Nug for here to be um one of the uh, royals or psychast psychasters, something like that. So let's accept it for five five days. Sure. Where the fuck are you going, bro? Oh, don't have this installed. Jesus. Day 18, Nugfer got the flu, but we tend to him really quickly. And uh, here's my reaction. What the fuck? We got flu? No way. Well, we're gaining immunity fast, so that's great. Benny over here is helping. Thank you. God damn. Really a man, ha man hunter pack right now. But I'll be damned. Just some hams, uh, some guinea pig pigs, hamsters. <laughs> bro, pick up your shit. That was your club, bro. Hey, it's just two guinea pigs. Now nah, we can handle it. We can handle it, brother. Okay, just stay inside for now. We're safe. We're safe. Benny, go in here to attract the uh the 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 the, the, the goddamn things. Flap, flap. Good job, bro. Luckily, we have this passive cooler here, which is gonna fucking need fuel. Day 20! It's a special day, because it's day 20. Really? Because nothing fucking happened this day. Boring fucking day, which is good. And that's what should happen in the next preceding days. Hopefully. I wish. No, seriously, it's a sad day because uh, the refugee is leaving. I do want him to, you know, stay because uh, Nugfur here is lonely, stuff like that. Psych! He was sickly, bro. I don't, I didn't even want him in here, bro. I just did it for the benefit for us, bro. Day 21 is a happy day because uh, Nugfur here got full immunity to the flu, bro. Congratulations. Towards the end, we finally finished uh, building the handcrafting uh, tailor bench, which we, we can now finally craft ourselves some proper clothes. On day 22, something big happened. Nothing big happened. Oh, I'm serious on nothing happened, but towards the end, um, yeah, we did assign some, um, you know, some bells on crafting ourselves some head wraps. Some visage mask that is needed for the um, ideal legion. The bottom down shirt. Stuff like that, you know. And a backpack for combat extended. On day 23, we made our first duster. Hooray! Cheers for you, Nugfur. You did it! On day 24, we just had some storage problems. And uh, yeah, we installed some tall shelves to solve that. On day 25, we were planning on mining inside the mountain in hopes of um, yeah, getting ourselves a uh, thick roof to place the fungal gravel on and uh, we, we've, we've struck some um, uranium which is good and uh, yeah created a, an 11 by 11 room again it's the best room don't argue shut up on the end of day 25 we got raided! Hooray! Good for us! But uh, yeah, he destroyed our like well. Um, he tried to set the farm on fire. I don't know why. Fucking pyromaniac here. But uh, yeah. Look for here, quickly disposed of him. He was like nothing, bro. He was like 
bother to nook for bro. He's just like fucking. I don't know, bro. But he was like bothered here too. <laughs> Ooh, the deserter. Okay, we got an eclipse and the deserter. Hell no. Yeah, after the eclipse happened and declining the deserter, we just continued mining on like getting ourselves an underground farm for the mushroom and uh, some kitchen as well. Day 27, we got raided. I'll let the past me do the commentating. Another raid, bro. What the hell? Yes. Okay. You're a masochist. You're neurotic. Oh my god, you have like a fire spew ability, bro. Fuck. Damn it. They're attacking immediately. Word. Fuck! God damn it. Let's load again. Man, I hate those fucking idiots, bro. Damn it. Ooh. Man, Benny, I don't need your shit right now, bro. Fuck. Please. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Okay. Uh, you're a masochist, right? Yeah. So you like this? Yeah. You you're in math. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I mean, you're quite useless, to be honest. Except that you're a cook. Oh man. I will finish you off. Day 28, a combat supplier arrived. Uh, they have one thing that I have my eye on, which is the Prestige Cataphrag Armor. It was quite expensive. And uh, from the Meteor Shower, we do have some silver. But, of course, Nugfur here has needs. You know, he was fucking slow slow as fuck like a grandma basically and uh there was also an mad alpaca that fucking i don't know i don't know fucking know. i'm just mad bro day 29 absolute boring ass fucking day we just did some planting and of course expand on the uh, underground farm and uh fridge and kitchen Day 30, we just mined this compacted steel. And at the day of day third end of the day 30, we got visitors, uh, traders, but their trades are absolute dog shit. I can't even comprehend why they are trading like this. Day 31. Do I really have to say anything, bro? All we did is this. Day 32, we got like a quest for the Ideal Legend. We'll do that in the future. We are unprepared for this, bro. On the succeeding days. Yeah, we just did this. The Tired Survivor. Uh, we accepted accepted him because, uh, yeah, we do need help. The workload on Nugfer here is uh, being rough on him too much. So yeah, we did accept him and I am gonna let the past me do the commentating, bro. Welcome, Balak, bro. Your dog shit. Holy moly. You're a Tito Taylor. It's cool. Eat inclined. Satiable. But your dog shit. I mean, you can research. But that's a plus. Uh, matter of fact, let me create a uh, 
small little researching hut for you like so this is just temporary uh of marble blocks why not you are gonna research um batteries first they were getting raided bro amazing they are attacking otter are you good you're, 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 oh shit you're a brawler you're beautiful you're heat inclined you have double passion for crafting and artistic stuff mm, i might i might recruit you my bro my bro where he is he it's getting pretty close please go in go in the trap in the trap my bro my brody what are you doing okay just down him bro 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 down him attack Run, bitch. Clap. Down him. Go. Boom. Boom, bitch. Attack. Nice. Okay, uh, set this to be for the prisoner. For the prisoner. Here we go. Uh, stabilize him first. Can you heal yourself? Oh shit, your ear got cut off. Damn, that's gnarly. Can you... Yes, you have some experience on medical. You should tend to yourself. Stabilize. Stabilize him, bro. What are you doing? God damn. Ah, he's gonna die. Holy shit! You are insane, my brody. Capture him, capture him, capture him, capture him, capture him, bro. What the fuck? He's gonna die. Can you clutch? This fucking idiot, bro. Unbelievable. Let me save. Try again, bro. God damn. Fuck. We lost that dude. God damn. We really, really lost that dude. Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> fucking shit. Holy shit. No way. You're in the same ideology as us. You might I'm starting to fucking think that you're gonna be you're, you're joining, bro. What the hell? I don't even want you, bro. You have like a old gunshot in your left leg. <laughs> Fuck. And we're getting raided again. Fantastic. Uh what are your stats, my brody? Also, rash baby. I don't know what this is. Why do you have like red, the red thing on your skill, bro? Or intellectual gene minus four. You're dog shit. You're prude. You're a miner. What the fuck? Why did they send you, bro? We're gonna kill you, bro. Why? Surprise, bitch. Boom. Boom. Die, motherfucker. Gonna 
die, bitch. Yeah. You're gonna die. Hold on. You're gonna die, bitch. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna die. Boom. Boom. Boom, bitch. Yeah, you're gonna die, motherfucker. Damn, how... How... You, you tough as shit, bro. God damn. <laughs> uh-huh. Finish... Finish her off. Boom. Okay, uh... What are you doing? Oh, you're tending to yourself. Tend to yourself, bro. Damn. Day 36, we got a transport or pod crash. And uh, yeah, this is my reaction to that. Oh shit, done? Ah, damn, you're done. You're dog shit. Oh my gosh. Hell no. The fuck are these stats? No, bro. No, thank you. And yeah, later in the day we got visitors, which is cool. They were just chilling, but then this happened. I don't know what they did, but yeah, war revenge, bro. What the fuck they did? But yeah, we took advantage of that. Oh shit! What the fuck? What happened? Oh no! What the hell? Oh my gosh! The warg bit off the fucking head of the, of of Trare, bro. Malingerer. Damn. Free stuff. <laughs> God damn. Free stuff, bro. You know what? Damn, where I love free stuff. In day thirty-seven, something interesting happened. Let's watch and see. Oh shit, he betrayed us. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Do you know who you are up against? Me, bitch. Stop. Kill him. You only have like a wooden fucking. Oh my gosh. You're dog shit. I mean, gonna imprison you. You're gonna be um, one of us now. And to Balak. Prisoner, uh, reduce resistance only. Please, please. And then now uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, you know. Yeah. Does that like give us social? Yes, it does. No way. Okay, nice. Just re uh, reduce his resistance. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be gonna be ours. Cause he, he does some. He does have some good stats. But from oh my god, oh my god, your arm got cut off. We'll get you another arm, bro. Don't worry about it. <laughs> My psychotic, psychopathic tendencies are showing, bro. Sorry. I'm gonna get you a new arm. And a new ear, too. A new leg. You should be happy. Day 38, a quest appeared about, like, some waste. Of course, we denied that. I, I don't even know how to dispose of like these waste bro plus it creates pollution which i am not used to i don't i haven't played enough of the dlcs to know how to manage that on on top of that we got these guys again i don't know why they even came back or are they in the same faction 
and at the end of day 38 sub christian uh, some celebration appeared itself uh, of course we did it and um, yeah i want to, i want you guys to see my reaction here shit it's terrible man god damn day 39 a good day to start a fucking prison break bitch try me bro flop flop oh bro you are not going anywhere bro you are now stuck with us forever bro god damn day 40 again we were having storage issues so yeah just place some more shelves here and uh yeah nook for here industrious as fuck hard working bro he was so passionate about it he didn't even get into a mental break bro but yeah more storage room i guess day 41 to 50 day 41 is kind of boring but then uh, we got a bison self-tamed and when i look over there there was a fucking ton of bisons and it got me thinking you know we should tame one i mean not tame one but tame a lot so i did like build some fence you know for these guys to live in so that they're comfortable tame a lot and uh yeah build the fence out of granite and yeah so that uh, it doesn't get destroyed easily we also got defense for higher um we declined that because uh we're gonna send uh, uh send some like enemies to our base which we are not ready for so yeah we declined that finished building defense and we actually got raided by two two people and they got sawed off shotguns which, which was pretty scary but uh luckily for us they went into the trap got themselves killed actually one of them uh, got through one trap which was pretty annoying but he did die to the axe of our little buddy here and yeah right here we got a wanderer joining us i was pretty hesitant at first because uh you know he might betray us but you know why not and uh when i look at his traits bro i was pretty shocked just look at my reaction holy shit oh my god oh my god we have two researchers bro you're good at mining too what the fuck and yeah we're we're just doing our best to uh finally recruit this little prisoner here uh with him we've almost finished researching batteries but with the help of argus over here we did finally finish uh researching batteries which is gonna be super super helpful and uh yeah we researched solar panels a renewable source of energy i'm not a big fan of like those wood generators because uh they i don't know i'm not really a big a big fan of them but yeah we got here some book goods trader which uh actually is gonna take our bisons here for 200 silver can you believe that they are pretty pricey oh my god they're gonna buy our bisons for 200 bro oh my god but of course we didn't trade them in i love them plus we're gonna you know uh breed them more stuff like that but i did trade some items along the way you know so that their travel here is not a waste and yeah that's pretty much it day 50 finally if you want to see more like the video subscribe share it to your friends please just to encourage me to make more of these types of videos and uh yeah i'll see you later i'm super grateful that you watched until the end bro